Braden Suprenant reporting for Southern California Prep Insiders. I'm here at Oceanside, California, checking out the El Camino Wildcats football team as they get ready for their 2017 season. Yeah, we all know about Chris Brown, we all know about Rocky Catawanga. There's a couple other pieces that are going to make this El Camino team a little bit better than they were last year. In fact, a lot better than they were last year. They got a couple transfers, we'll dive into that first. Demarcus Griffin, he is from Fresno. He's going to be a great piece for this, for this team. He's very fast in the open space, he's got great footwork, he's going to be a dynamic piece for El Camino. The other transfer they have is a San Diego kid as well, or a San Diego kid rather. He's from Orange Glen High School. His name is Malachi Russell. He led the state last year in receiving. He's going to be a great reception guy for the Wildcats. Besides that, they got a couple good quarterbacks here at El Camino. They got Jaden Casey. He's going to be a third-year starter here for the Wildcats. He's a great football player. He's got good, good vision. He's got able to throw a good spiral. But El Camino is set for a couple years because their sophomore quarterback, DJ Ralph, is tearing it up right now in JV. Look for him to back up Jaden Casey on the varsity level. Besides those two players, you got another returning guy. His name is Wayne Stewart. Also fast, very good in the open field. He's going to be another great piece for this Wildcat football team. As far as their schedule goes, not only they have to take on the Avocado League, which is very challenging every year, but they also got a couple non-conference opponents that might be a little bit difficult for them to handle. Point Loma is going to be a good tester for them. That's an early test, week one. It's going to be a good one for them to see how they're going to be this year. Another good test for them is going to be Rancho Bernardo. You know, semi-final in the Open last year. A couple of years ago, they're you know just as good. They're going to be another good team. Watch out for Rancho Bernardo, but El Camino has got a great piece there on their schedule. The last team they got to look out for is Citrus Hills. Citrus Hills now is from Paris, California. They always got big guys. They're always physical. Another great test piece for Coach Ralph and his El Camino Wildcats. For more on this, I caught up with Coach Ralph. You guys are in the Avocado League, and that's a tough league to play in. But you know, you're off. Your non-league schedule is pretty tough too. You know, we got Point Loma, Citrus Hills, and Ranch Bernardo. Yeah. You know what? It, what about playing? You know, a more difficult non-league schedule. Um, Talk about, you know, how does that help you down the road when you have a difficult league well, schedule? Well, in the first Alcatraz of all, league. playing Point Loma, um, it's their first game under their lights. It's going to be a very, very exciting game. It'll be a beautiful night in Point Loma. Coach Hastings done a great job with this program. Um, it'll be exciting. Rancho Bernardo, Tristan um, has done an awesome job, um, and, and they were state champions two years ago, and very good game we had last year, so we're looking forward to playing them. But then Citrus Hills is kind of a monster team from up north, and they're very physical, so that's a great matchup to lead into probably the strongest league in um, Southern El Camino is going to have a great season this year, and be, be sure to go check them out. Coach, it's been a pleasure. All right, thank now you very here's, much. Now here's uh, Scotty Gange with Chris Brown. What's up, sports fans? Scotty Gange here with San Diego Prep Insider, El Camino running back Chris Brown. So, Chris, just finished practice. You're about a week and a half through. What are your, uh, what are your thoughts on the El Camino squad so far? Uh, we're working pretty hard right now to be a good team, and uh, we're just trying to get better every day. So, Chris, you know, you guys had a – had a pretty good season last year, fell up pretty short. What's the what's the expectations for this year? Uh, expectations is to be better than last season and uh, win more than uh, three games that we did last season. For you personally, uh, you have any big goals for the season? Uh, big goals is to help my team win all the games and everything. That's probably my, my biggest goal. Right. So let's shift gears a little bit. You know, you know, you're a nationally recruited running back. So we're gonna ask really just not try to dive too much into it, but what's the biggest thing you're looking for in, in a school to, to extend your play? Uh, this thing, probably a great program that it will allow me to get better every single day and uh, allow for uh, also academic uh, improvement too and, and myself, so I can strive to be great. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Chris Brown. Scotty Gage here, San Diego Prep Insider. Good. Thanks again to Coach Ralph and Chris Brown for taking the time out of their their day to talk to us. Scotty, you know, what are your expectations with this El Camino team? So, you know, last year they were really an uh, experienced and talented team, or more so talented, excuse me, and they really just couldn't get things done when it had to be done. And this year they've got all the experience combined with a couple transfers, you know, Malake Russell and uh, DeAndre Griffin, or Demarcus Griffin, excuse me. And so really with those two coming in to a great El Camino team, I, I can see them rising their way to the top. Their offense is going to be dynamic. For me, I think they're going to finish second in the avocado. I could see them in the open playoff. I definitely think they're going to finish in the top 10 in San Diego. Scotty, 
right. top, top eight finish, like you were saying? For sure. I can definitely see them in the Open Division Championship. And, you know, knowing the Avocado West League, every single game is a dogfight. So I can see them top three, top three teams in that league and having to fight their way for that championship. Both of us agree El Camino is going to be back up here in Oceanside and something to be reckoned with here in the North County. From Oceanside, California, and for Southern California Prep Insiders, Scotty Gange, Braden Suprenant. We'll see you next time.